It's 1980. I'm seven years old on summer vacation in Karachi, Pakistan. One morning, my aunt comes to take me shopping. I'm excited. We head to Sadar and stop at an unfamiliar apartment building. My aunt says, I just have to run an errand. I follow her into a dark entrance up two flights of stairs. We pause outside a badly scratched door and my aunt rings the bell. An elderly woman greets us. She's dressed in a ghagra koti and her head is covered with a dupatta. The apartment is cramped and hot, musty. The woman leads us into a brightly painted room. Suddenly and without any warning, she grabs me and pushes me onto my back. She strips off my panties and spread eagles me with well-practiced efficiency. Before I know what's happening, I feel a sharp, hot pain between my legs. As I cry out, she says triumphantly, done. She quickly bundles me into a cloth diaper and brings me to my feet. Only then do I notice a pair of old scissors with blood on them on a tray next to her. I hear my aunt say, Auntie ne salam karo? I obey. The whole thing takes less than 15 minutes. I'm filled with shame. My mom had caught me exploring my body a few weeks before. This is a sin, she'd said. So I believe I have been punished. Over the years, I've wondered, would I have grown up more confident if I'd never been cut? Would I have been better able to appreciate and enjoy my body? Or been more comfortable with sex and intimacy? I will never know. I think back to that salam and my blood boils. I hope my story will break the circle of silence that has allowed genital cutting to continue.